Hi, good evening, and many thanks for this kind invitation to the ARI meeting. My name is Arthur Cummings, and I'm going to be speaking about remote management of adult amblyopia. These are my financial disclosures, and the only one that has relevance is that of Binox. We're all very familiar with amblyopia, a condition of reduced vision due to abnormal visual development, at least 300 million people affected, and the current standard of care is patching or penalization of the good eye. And treatment therapies in adults are ineffective. However, Binox dicoptic therapy has changed this. So when an eye is amblyopic, the brain receives only one dominant eye image. And dicoptic therapy works differently to patching. When you patch the eye, the brain only receives the image on the suppressed eye. When you do dicoptic therapy, you wear anaglyph glasses with one side blue or green, the other side red, and the image you're looking at is three-dimensional. The brain perceives both images, and the brain perceives both images as equal, given the fact that the good image is reduced in quality to match the amblyopic eye's image. So with two images now, you can have 3D vision. So does this work? I'm going to share with you a study involving 20 subjects, median age of 42, age 23 to 54 years of age. We showed improvements of three logma lines pre and post of binox dicoptic therapy using the device for 30 minutes per day five days a week for six weeks. You can clearly see here the results of visual acuity in LogMAR from pre-therapy to post-therapy. A Wilcoxon-Stein rank test showed a statistically significant improvement in visual acuity of the amblyopic eye. The median visual acuity improved by three lines with a pre-therapy LogMAR of 0.6 and it improved to 0.3. 11 out of 13 subjects developed stereopsis from no 3D to having 3D, and 7 out of 7 subjects who had stereopsis gained stereopsis from 100 seconds of arc to 50 seconds of arc. There are additional functions for dicoptic therapy. It's specifically effective for anisometropic amblyopia, as you've seen, but additional applications are for so called dry eye that is actually due to micro misalignment issues, neuropathic pain on occasion, binocular vision disorders, small forays and tropias, and then fast-tracking neuroadaptation, such as managing unhappy, unhappy trifocal or EDOF um, patients. Binox now has a global presence. It is based in Singapore, with most of the research being done in India. Some comments that were made after the ACOS meeting in Antwerp in 2022, that this is probably the biggest and most exciting innovation in ophthalmology today. And adult amblyopes have gone from no hope to successful therapy within six weeks. It's a fast and significant permanent improvement in visual acuity, develops or restores 3D vision. And there is a collaborative strategic model involving reducing eye care practitioners' clinical burden while improving revenue streams by expanding the market. And Binox is the thought leader in managing binocular vision in ophthalmology. The topic for today is about neuroadaptation in premium IOLs and how to fast track this. So we have all seen the patient who's 2020 both eyes, J1, yet still unhappy. Complaining of poor contrast, halos, intermittent blurring of vision, shadows, rings, poor stereopsis. Let's look at the effects of a diffractive multifocal on the visual system. Well, firstly, it reduces visual contrast. It decreases binocular vision and depth perception. It may have positive dysphotopsia, such as starburst rings or halos. There may be negative dysphotopsia. And different areas in the field of vision are now in focus simultaneously, and the brain's going to choose between them. And the brain needs to focus on the area of interest and suppress the others that it's not interested in. The adult nervous system is remarkably plastic and has the ability to rapidly modify depending on the visual inputs. 
True neuroadaptation occurs from a few days to several weeks post-implant. It has the ability to rapidly modify depending on the visual inputs. Neuroadaptation mainly involves the hippocampus and failed neuroadaptation leads to psychological adaptation and neuroresignation. It is a slow and complicated process and 10% of patients may never adapt. And this is our major challenge with unhappy patients. There are three areas involved. The frontoparietal lobe, controlling the ability to judge size, shape and distance attention. The cingulate cortex, associated with learning, emotions and memory. And then the chordate nucleus is involved in adaptive behaviors in planning and execution of strategies to attain complex goals. So the visual cortex is involved with the frontoparietal circuits, the cingulate and the chordate nucleus. Attention comes from the frontoparietal circuits, initiation, motivation, cognition from the cingulate and planning and execution from the, from the chordate. If the neuroadaptation goes well, it's all green lights. You just neuroadjust. If it does not go well and there is failure of the process, then we lead to potential contribution of activation of the corticostriatal loops, leading to anger and frustration reflexively, meaning you can't help it. So failure to neuroadapt can lead to psychological problems. Training with Binox involves the dicoptic training, which the process involves the presentation of contrast adjusted stimuli to each eye and the summation of both these stimuli this improves contrast, spatial relations, and binocular vision, but then also it involves perceptual and cognitive training on how our eyes interact with the environment and perform specific tasks. Training with Binox for visual performance for unhappy patients with diffractive multifocals occurs in the comfort of your own home, on your own laptop or computer, 30 minutes a day, five days a week, and is normally completed within two weeks. These two case reports show what can be done. A patient with eight optics of exophoria, 400 seconds of arc for near and absent for distance, unhappy with the result. Following Binox therapy, no need for IL explantation. Patient is happy, stable images, clearer visual perception, and less glare. A second case with dense suppression in the left eye poor lack of visual acuity, lack of depth perception. And after 10 sessions, normal binocular vision and visual acuity, 20-20 in both eyes, 150 seconds of arc, stereopsis present and a happy patient. A significant improvement in low contrast visual acuity is reported. So Binox has a big application across ophthalmology, across all of these. And in this regard, it's a valuable tool. Many thanks for your attention.